Earth signs Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what will happen here if you cut ties or if you walk away from this individual. So I'm get, I guess that these messages here are more tailored to those of you that are romantically involved with someone and you've sort of been thinking or pondering about just getting up and walking away or just disconnecting or cutting ties with this person. Now it's not always easy to do but for whatever reason you feel like it may just serve you positively or it just may be in your best interest. It is going to be a general reading, so please be mindful of that. If you're interested in a personalized tarot reading, please feel free to reach out and connect. My email is going to be listed in the video below. On that note, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, well. Okay, um, it's, it's not going to be easy, let me tell you. It's not going to be easy at all. Some of you, I feel like you're either going through a storm, okay, or you're going into a storm, or you're coming out of the storm with regards to this romantic connection. If you get up and leave here, it is going to... It is going to be probably a very uh, difficult decision you're going to have to make if you end up cutting ties with this person. It's probably a decision, one in which you're very resistant or reluctant to do so. But it just may be in your best interest, especially for those of you, if you are in a relationship with a person in which it feels like very one-sided or very imbalanced. It feels like a lot of work. And I know relationships are work, okay? Um, but this one feels like it's exhausting, like it's draining you. This one feels like you're the one that's making all the effort. You're the one that's invested the most into this connection, whether it's physically, emotionally, mentally, financially. It feels like you're the one that's giving it your all, and in the process, you're, it's backbreaking here. So if you're in such a connection, and though you want them to reciprocate, and though you want them to do the same, it's just not happening, okay? It's just... They're not giving back what you're putting in and it's hurting you. You may not realize it. It's damaging you and it's damaging your self-esteem. So why would you choose to stay? Why would you choose to stay and put in all this action and effort for someone who wouldn't do the same for you? And yes, as I've mentioned, it is probably walking away from this person is probably going to put you in a very emotional state and it's going to possibly, you know, throw chaos into your life and it's going to shake you up and shake your world upside down and it's probably going to be a very big decision especially if some of you are you know if you've been in this person long like in a long-term relationship if you guys have been committed to each other for years and years and years I mean this is what you grew accustomed to but the ten of wands in the tower tells me that you're reaching a culmination where it's like enough is enough you know you've You've done so much only to get so little back in return. And although you've been doing it for years, it's going to reach boiling point. It's going to get to the point where you just can't do this anymore. There's nothing left for you to give because you've been depleted of your energy. You've been depleted of your resources here. So the magician and the king of wands tells me if you make that decision to walk away from a connection that doesn't serve you positively, from a connection that's imbalanced or one-sided, um, it's going to be a very powerful decision for you because you're going to get back a sense of control that you've lost quite some time ago. You're going to be taking control and ownership of your feelings, your happiness, your life, the direction you want to take it. It's going to put you in a very strong and powerful position. It may be a very difficult position, but the empowerment that you will feel from this decision will be worth it here. Okay? It just may also make this person realize a few things. Because sometimes it does take someone walking away to make someone else realize what they're losing because when they had it 
they didn't realize it, right? So it just may put, you know, it just may um, make your energy realize what they lose when they lose you, okay? And what they stand to lose if you do walk away. But look at the Nine of Wands. I mean, I feel like there's so much... Notice the re repetition with the wands as well, the nine and the ten. I feel like this isn't a thought that's just randomly crossed your mind. It's a thought maybe you've been thinking about a lot of like a lot of the time, but it's just been a decision that it's not easy to just get up and you know go with it, right? Especially if you guys have built up a life together, marriage, your children, or some of you may even be pregnant to this person. So it's not just a very light decision. It's one that is going to impact your life drastically. But I feel like it's going to, if you make the decision to walk away from this relationship, which is under you know the, such a um, heavy influence of a storm or a tower moment, it is going to be for the better here. Because I spoke about this, the tower here, and notice how the foundational structure of the tower is eroding. So this tells us that there's... The relation, like the foundation on which the two of you have built this connection or built this relationship or marriage on, it's not sturdy enough. Okay, it may have worked for you back then, but it's not working for you anymore. I mean, look at it; that it's eroding. And what's going to happen? The tower will falter; it will crumble, and you will go down with it. So maybe walking away now is better. It's better to do it now than doing it years or months on when you're in a position where you're completely you know, out of control and you're just completely powerless here. The Nine of Wands is a wounded soldier. He's very suspicious. So you've had a lot of suspicion in this connection. Maybe there's not a lot of trust there anymore. Uh, maybe this person has given you, you know, reason to doubt them, to not trust them. Um, it's also a wounded soldier here. There's been a lot of hurt. And, you know, people make mistakes Sometimes we hurt others and it's not deliberate. There's no malicious motivation or intent. We're just humans. We're flawed humans. Um, and I get that. But this feels like it's repetitive. This feels like it's happening time and time again. And the lesson is not being learned here. So it kind of does feel deliberate. Because if someone hurts you once, okay. But if they keep hurting you again and again, you, you have to believe I mean, you'd be naive to not believe otherwise. You'd have to believe that this, you know, it's done with some sort of deliberate intent. So, you know, you're in this situation where it's just, it's been ongoing, the hurt, the pain, the lies, the deceit, the struggle, you know, the tower moments of disagreeing, this faltering tower situation. Yes, there is attraction. Yes, there may still be love involved, but it just feels very one-sided. It feels like, I mean, is it love? If you're doing all the loving on your own, is it love though? So walking away is going to be difficult for you and even for this individual because there's such an attachment here. You guys have grew such accustomed. You go, Let me start again. You guys grew really accustomed to one another, even if you guys also grew quite accustomed to the pain that's been inflicted on this connection. But notice how lightning strikes here. And provides a sense of illumination here for the tower. Like the universe here is trying to show you something. Or is trying to communicate to you something about this connection. It's trying to tell you something. Maybe now is your way out. Of course this only really applies if you can relate to the messages guys. If you're in a relationship and everything is peaches and cream and it's all bliss. Obviously this message is not intended for you in your ears right. So you'll have to take it as it resonates with you. At the end of the day. You know, you have to do what's best for you. Not necessarily what's best for the future of your person, but what's best for you. Because your the longest relationship you're going to have with someone is yourself. And you are responsible for your own happiness. So if someone he is making you unhappy here, you have to take accountability for it. There's going to come a point in your life where you're going to, you know, have to take responsibility for it. Why are you allowing them to take away from your happiness rather than contribute to it? So, you know, you're just going to have to start taking accountability for it, guys. Okay, and I'm not making excuses for this person, but I'm just saying that you need to take back a sense of control and a sense of ownership here over your, yourself, your energy, your feelings. And I feel like walking away or stepping away from someone who's been hurting you and you know, not loving you in the way that you deserve, 
is going to enable you to do that. All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks, as always, for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing, liking, sharing. If you're after a personal reading, feel free to connect. Otherwise, bye for now.